One of the best ways to view the eclipses is going to be through Celestron's four different options here of binoculars. If you're interested in any of the products in this video, please consider clicking the affiliate links in the description below. It costs you nothing extra if you make a purchase and helps support Cosmos Safari bring the universe closer than you think. The first of these binoculars is the 10 by 25 model, and with this it's uh, going to be a very nice small form factor, so if you like the grab and go, you'll be able to get the most out of these. Um, you can kind of throw them into a backpack and just hit the road and you'll be on your way. Um, like all four of these different solar safe uh, binoculars, they have a built-in solar filter. They're dedicated to looking at the sun. Um, and there's no way that this can fall off on you, uh, which is a concern with some of the other options out there. The 10 in the 10 by 25s has to do with the magnification of these binoculars. The 25 has to do with the size of the actual lens up front here. So with this, a 25 millimeter lens with a 10x magnification. Next up here is the 10 by 42s. You can see they're a different style. These are the roof style binoculars, which you'll notice are straight. And then we've got the Pluro style binoculars, which has a prism in the side here, which gives it that distinct shape here um, of moving off to the sides. Now, there are some benefits to this. Um, first off, this is now a 42 millimeter aperture, the size of the lens on either side which is an improvement in resolution. Um, now, normally with binoculars, we would concern ourselves over light gathering power with astronomy as well. With these being that we're looking at the sun, um, that's less of a concern, but you will get the resolution bo boost with this. Um, the 10, once again, means that these are 10X. They're the same as the uh, roof style binoculars, but the additional size here gets you once again the resolution. And then the Pluro style, you'll notice it's a little bit wider. And as a result, you'll get more of kind of a stereo type of an image, a 3D, just like your eyes uh, are able to distinguish distance based on the fact that we have eyes at a distance from one another. This additional space between your eyes provides that uh, extra bit of kind of a realistic 3D effect. Now, um, the next one up here is going to be a significant bump in size. Look at the size difference there. And these are the 12 by 50s. So um, once again, this was a 10 by 42, and now we're going up to 12 by 50. So we now have a 50 millimeter sized lens. Once again, an increase in our resolution. And once again, we have now 12X magnification. So there's gonna be a slight incre increase in your zoom, your magnification. Um, and once again, these are the Pluro style, which have the prism in them, which gives you that extra little bit of 3D effect. And finally, on the very end here, um, you'll notice they're about the same size, in fact, as the 12 by 50s. And these are the 20 by 50s, once again, giving you an improvement in magnification. Now, with this one, being that you're at a 20 magnification, um, that's going to be important that you have some sort of a, either a tripod or something to stabilize your arms with, um, whether that's just kind of sitting down on a table while you're looking up, just providing, or maybe a car uh, hood, that's always something that's nice to use, something stable to provide you that extra bit of stability because hand-holding a 20X binoculars is going to become rather challenging and possibly frustrating. So you're either gonna want a tripod or some way of stabilizing your arms. So as you can see, we have four different options. Um, with these, you can't go wrong. Once again, they all have the solar safe technology, making sure that you stay safe during that eclipse. All right, so I wanted to discuss the importance of focusing your binoculars properly. Like any pair of binoculars, we've got a focus knob that is right here, which most people are familiar with. But what not everyone understands about using binoculars is that because you have two eyes, and because your eyes have different abilities to see, different prescriptions maybe, if you're a person who wears glasses like I do, um, I'm wearing my contacts right now, which is totally fine, but um, if you're wearing glasses, you do not need to wear them while you're looking through your binoculars. So you're going to simply, with your left eye, focus, and I even recommend closing your right eye if possible. 
um, you're going to get your focus on this left eye first with this large knob up top. But then comes the next part. There is a second dial here called the diopter and the diopter spins to focus your right eye. So once you have your left eye in focus, close your left eye now and focus the right eye using the diopter. Now the little bit of a challenge with this is you do need to focus on the actual sun because these are the solar safe uh, technology and that you won't be able to see anything else. So make sure you're doing this um, and practicing this process before the day of the eclipse um, so that you're familiar with it and you will need to possibly switch between people as well. So if you have very different eyes, uh, vision from someone else, they're going to need to know how to do this as well. So if you're going to have anybody else using the binoculars, um, try to also have them play with this in advance and get used to the use of this diopter.